Hey everyone, welcome back, okay, uh, Ruben Padilla. So, welcome to our class, okay. Uh, well, we're in the middle of a class, okay. Look, this one is like, uh, today we're gonna be working on the passive voice. The passive voice, but this video, I've already uploaded two more, but this one is on the present perfect tense, okay. Hoy vamos a trabajar el, beat, el uh, passive voice, pero lo vamos a trabajar en el present perfect, okay? El passive voice and el present perfect tense. So, example, in order to form the, okay, in order to form the, uh, the passive voice in the present perfect tense, here's the pattern. Ese es el patrón que tienes que seguir, ¿verdad? The object, okay, what, who you're going to talk about, de qué o de quién vas a hablar, then, have or has, and then followed by a verb in the past participle. Exactly. If you know, if you have an idea what the passive voice is about, then, okay, you have to watch this video. Good. But if you don't know what the passive voice is, like you don't know the present, you don't know the past of the passive voice, okay, well, it'll be a little difficult. Va a ser un poco difícil. Entonces tienes que saber qué es el passive voice. Y tienes conocer. You have to know verbs in the past participle. Example, drink, drank and drunk. Give, gave and given. Exactly. So you, you must know the verbs in the past participle in order to understand, okay, this lesson, uh, in order to get the most out of it, para que puedas aprovecharla al máximo, sacar lo mejor. Now, the present perfect tense, okay? The present perfect. What's the present perfect about? The present perfect, okay, refers, this tense, este tiempo, the uh, present perfect refers to a situation that began in the past and continues to present, okay? Look, so let's do a few examples, okay, look. Remember, the present perfect, okay, expresses a situation that began in the past and continues the present. Now, but also, pero también, when do we use the passive voice? Cuando usamos el passive voice? We use the passive voice when the performer, right, when the subject, the performer is unknown, it's not important, okay? Usas el passive voice cuando, verá, cuando la persona que hace la acción no es importante, solo quien la... Receive. Very good. Okay, that's the point. Okay. Well, and then what we're learning today is the passive voice in the present perfect tense. Okay, good. Good. Now, oh, wait, wait a second. Okay, so it's okay here. The object haven't has, and you are going to need been, okay, and then you're going to need past participle. Sorry. Okay, good. So you're gonna need, okay, the object, you're gonna need have and has, been, okay, been, and then you're gonna need the past participle. That's the pattern. Ese es, el, ese es el patrón que tienes que seguir en el present perfect tense, okay? Para hablar del passive voice. Look, let's say, look, first one, okay, look. Give, give, gave, and given. How do I say, look, how do I say in English, look, como digo que, En una situación me dieron un aumento, pero esa situación comenzó como el lunes y eso sigue. Look, I'm going to say, I, I have been, I have been given a, good. Okay, come on, read it. I, I have been given a race. Hey, guess what? I have been given a race. Como, puede ser también como me han dado, ¿verdad? Me han dado un, un, un aumento. I have been given a race, but what happens is that you are indicating a situation from the past until now. In the simple past, in the simple past, it would be a I was given a race last month. But but now, example, imagine, imagine if I look, you're hearing it. Hey, guess what? Adivina qué? Me dieron, me han dado un aumento. What's that? I have been given a race. Past, present. Okay, good. Now, example. Let's say next one. To teach. Let's use the verb teach. Okay, teach. What is the past tense? Taught. Taught is the simple past. And what is the past participle? 
taught. So that teach, taught, taught. Okay, good. Imagine things that you have been taught before. Imagínate cosas que a ti ya te han enseñado, pero tu vida empezó en pasado y continúa ahora. Oh, let's, okay, let's take, to, uh, let's take to English. Pe apeguémonos al inglés. Okay? ¿Cómo dirías? Hey, me han enseñado varios tiempos. When you say, look, me han enseñado varios tiempos, you're not saying who, the teacher, nah, okay, that, okay, that's uh, unimportant, okay, that's unknown. Eso no es, de, es desconocido, no importa. Me han enseñado. Me han enseñado varios tiempos. What is it? Tell me. I have been, right? I have been taught. Y tienen que ir en el past. I have been taught. Uh, repeat. I have been taught. You see? I have been taught. I have been taught several tenses. I have been taught several tenses. Me han enseñado. No estás diciendo quién, solo que a ti te han enseñado. Tú has recibido esta acción. I have been taught several tenses. What's the negative form of have? Haven't. Have okay, let's stick to this one. Apeguémonos a este. ¿Cómo dirías? No me han enseñado los phrasal verbs. What is it? I, I haven't. I haven't been. I haven't been taught. I haven't been taught phrasal verbs. We can add, okay, the adverb, I still, oh no, I still haven't been taught. I still haven't been taught the phrasal verbs, okay? Good. Are you guys understanding? Have and has been past participle. Let's say next one, okay, ready? Look, three. Let's talk about a third person singular, okay, good. Miguel, uh, what's the verb, okay, to fire? Fire someone from a job, que es? Despedir. To fire someone from a job, Fire, it's the regular verb. Simple past, fired in. Yes, okay, fire, fired, fired, despedir. Okay, good. So let's say, look, if I want to say it in English, okay, quiero decir en inglés. A Miguel lo han despedido de dos, de dos empleos. In our example, Who's the performer? ¿Quién es que hace la acción aquí? Unknown. No importa. ¿Qué pasa es que a él le ha pasado esto? What is it, Miguel? Yeah. Miguel has been, right? Miguel has been. Miguel has been fired from two jobs. Yes. So you would say, look, Miguel, Miguel has been fired from two jobs. Good. Lo han despedido. What is it? A situation, first time, well, in the past, but continues, okay, to present. Miguel has been fired from two jobs, okay, look. Let's see, let's, uh, let's do number four, okay. To tell, tell, what is the past is? Told, told in the past participle. Told. told, and a regular verb. Tell, past is, told, and told. told. Before before we do this one, okay, let's okay, let's remember something. Estamos verá que estamos hablando del passive voice, la voz pasiva en el present perfect. El tiempo indica siempre que indica past present. Y el passive voice solo quien recibe la acción importa, no quien lo hace. Okay, good. Look, tell, told, told. Como decir mentiras en inglés es tell, tell lies. Tell lies. Good, right? Tell. Porque cuentas algo. Tell lies. ¿Cómo puedes decir? Oh, me han dicho, me han dicho muchas mentiras en la vida. ¿Verdad? Past, present, what is it? I? I have been told, right? I have been told, I have been told many, many lies in my lifetime. Good, so you would say, hey, I have been told. I have been told many lies in my lifetime. I have been told many lies in my lifetime. Okay, good. Well, so uh, well, so far, we've got four. We've got four on the board. Okay, passive voice, person perfect. Okay, the object, person. Okay, the uh, the thing, the item, have or has, been, verb in past participle. Okay, good. All right, look, 
Okay, good. One, let's go over number one. Okay, what is it? I, I have been given a raise. You don't have to, you don't have to be example. Algo que no puede estar haciendo es como traduciendo mucho. So this, well, tú tienes el raise. Te lo dieron, pero sigues teniendo el raise. That's why I, I have been, I have been given a raise. Okay, this one. Got some news for you. Yeah, okay, what is it? I have been given a raise. Okay, good. Teach, taught, taught. Okay, look. I, one, I have been taught several chances. Yeah, example, since you started, since you started this English course, okay, you have been, you have been taught. I can say, I have taught you, but I don't want to say it that way. What matters here is that you, you have been taught, you have been taught several tenses, okay? Negative one, we did. I haven't been taught phrasal verbs. I haven't been taught phrasal verbs. No me han enseñado. I haven't been taught phrasal verbs, okay? Three, to fire someone, despedir a alguien. Fire, fired, fired, okay? Miguel, Miguel has been fired from two jobs. En su vida, ¿verdad? Lo han despedido. Como si literalmente también, él ha sido despedido. Lo han despedido. Ok, so Miguel has been fired from two jobs. Four, till, told, told. Ok, I have been told many lies in my lifetime. Good. Ok, any questions so far? No questions? Relax, no, no questions. Come on, tell me. Okay, no questions. May I raise it? Yes. yes. Go ahead, take it. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do another four examples. Okay, before um before I turn up the camera. Okay, another four examples before I turn it off. Got it? Yes. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Let's do another four examples. Okay. So that, okay, later, later when you go home or some other day you watch it, you watch the video and then you practice. Okay, good, right? What is example? Look, let's say um, arrest, right? Arrest. Arrest is a regular verb. The past tense is arrested, right? Arrested in the past participle. Arrested. Okay, good. So arrest. Well, this would be example, present perfect, okay, passive voice, video one, okay, this is affirmative, affirmative sentences, okay, affirmative sentences, arrest, I'm going to put it here, guys, okay, affirmative, affirmative sentences, okay, affirmative statements, arrest, arrested, arrested, okay, look, uh, one, one has been, one has been arrested, one has been arrested twice, twice in his lifetime. Okay, look, so number one here, okay? Well, this was not number one, this was number five. Okay, so number five. One, come on, one has been arrested twice in his lifetime. Right, one has been arrested twice in his lifetime. A situation what, okay? From the past until now. So he has been arrested twice in his lifetime. In a question, it would be, look, have you ever, look, listen to the question, have you ever been arrested? That's passive voice, you know? Have you? Have you ever, it's a question, right? Have you ever been arrested? Right, okay, good. You see, have you ever, have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been arrested? No, no, no. no. Yes, you have? Yes, How many times have you been arrested? Uh, twice. Twice. Jose has been arrested twice, Sam. <laughs> okay. have, you have been arrested. How many times? One time. Oh, good. By. Oh, look, you can say, I have been arrested by immigration. Okay, good. All right, good then. Okay, let's do next one. Take, right? To take, what is the past tense? Took. Took in the past participle. Taken. Taken. Okay, let me do another little reminder. Remember that we're working on the passive voice, okay? Passive voice, present perfect tense, okay? 
situations that began in the past and continue right to present. Next one is take. The past is took. took. In the past, forceful, taken. 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 Okay, look. Let's say Gloria, okay? Uh, let's say this month. ¿Cómo puede ser que Gloria la han llevado al cine tres veces este mes? Este mes continúa. Okay, como lo dices, Gloria has been. Gloria has been taken to the movies. Right? Gloria has been taken to the movies three times. Three times this month. Okay, again. Now, Gloria has been taken to the movies three times this month. ¿Cómo dice esto? Que ella la han llevado. No dice quién, pero sabemos que ella la han llevado. Gloria has been taken to the movies three times this month. Good? Okay, let's do another one. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do the verb, okay? Um, let's say replace, okay? Replace, regular verb, simple past. Replaced in the past participle. Replaced, okay, so replace, so the verb, okay, good, the verb replace, the past is replaced and replaced, good. Imagine if this morning I, if this morning I told you, hey, look, those slides need to be replaced. And then, so at this moment, let's say you're calling me, you're calling me to let me know. You know that the lights have been replaced. Hey, but you, you were not the one who did it, okay? The performer, the performer is not important, is unknown, okay? So if you want to report that to me, si me quieres reportar eso como las luces ya las cambiaron, ya las reemplazaron, what is it, the lights? The lights what? The lights have been, the lights have been replaced. Again, let's go over it. Let's go over this example one more time. Replace, replaced, replaced. The situation was like this morning, hey, the lights need to be replaced. Now, later on today, you're calling me to report it to me. Hey, Ruben, guess what? What is it? The lights? The lights have been replaced. Are we saying who replaced the lights? No, it's unimportant, it's unknown, okay? The lights have been replaced. Different, different if you were the one who performed, who did this action, you would say, hey, I have, hey Ruben, I have, I have already replaced the lights. If you were the one, right, replacing the lights. But in this case, what matters is the action of the lights being replaced, okay? Lo que importa es lo que la acción de que las luces ya, ya se cambiaron, ya se reemplazaron, okay, good? De un pasado ahora, well, the lights have been replaced, okay? Now, let's see next one, one more, okay? One more, uh, let's do the verb, regular verb, deliver, okay? Deliver, the past is? Delivered, it's a regular verb in the past participle. Delivered. So, delivered, past is delivered and delivered. Delivered. Imagine if you were, let's say, you, since the morning, you have been, okay, you have been expecting, you have been expecting a package from a company, okay? Tú has estado esperando un verano, un paquete de una compañía. And then, I am, I am at the house. Yo estoy ahí en la casa. ¿Y cómo te digo que ya te entregaron el paquete? Lo esperabas de la mañana, ahora ya te entregaron el paquete. What is it? Your package. What is it? Your package has been delivered. Your package, okay? Your package has been delivered. Yep. Good. Your package your package has been delivered. Well, let's say, hey, uh, Jose, guess what? Okay, got some news for you. Your package has been delivered. Yeah? Lo entregaron, all right, okay? Are we saying who delivered the package? No, okay? Unknown, 
unimportant, okay? So, uh, last four sentences in the passive voice, present perfect, okay? Let's go over the examples. Number five, we said, well, we we did the verb arrest, passes, arrested, and arrested, okay? So, what is it? One, one has been arrested twice in his life. Right, one has been, one has been arrested, one has been arrested twice in his lifetime. Now, the simple past, the verb to be is, was, were. A, hey, one was arrested once last month. One was arrested once last month. But then, from the first time until this moment, one has been arrested twice in his lifetime. Okay, next, well, the question, have you have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been arrested? Okay. Uh, look, are we? The question: Am I ask? Am I am I uh, mentioning like uh, the police, immigration, FBI? No. The point is: Have you? Right. That's the idea. Have you ever been arrested? Okay. Six. Take. Take. Took. Take him. Okay. Gloria has been taken to the movies three times this month. Right? Imagine. Okay, Magdalena is sitting in class now. Let's say I'm going to ask Magdalena a question. Have you been taken to the movies lately? Well, but then the point is, say, no, I have. Okay, good. No, I have. Good. Okay, so then, now, have you been taken? Because, uh, well, it could be the husband... Uh, her kids, her sister, okay, good. But then the point is, have you been taken? Have you been taken to the movies this month? Okay, next, uh, replace. Replaced, replaced. The lights, what is it? The lights have been replaced. Okay, the lights say hey, nothing to worry about, okay, anymore. The lights have been replaced. Mm -hmm. Good, and eight, deliver. Delivered, delivered, okay? So then, your package, your package has been delivered. In a question, let's say, if you, let's say if you have been expecting that package all day and it's late, late in the evening, hey, and then you call, you know, you call someone at your house, okay, your apartment, your home, okay, hey, has my package been delivered yet? You see, you hear it? Has my package been delivered yet? In a, in a situation in like when you're already upset, right? Because it's you know it's taken it's taken a while, right? Okay, so there you go. This is uh well video one. Okay, the passive voice, present perfect, affirmative sentences. Okay, uh, any questions? No questions. You sure? Hey, shoot me an example, okay, please, okay, before before I let you guys go, okay, shoot me an example in the present perfect tense. Let me know if you have any questions. Well, this class, okay, this class, it's more like a high intermediate, okay? So, yeah, if you are kind of like struggling, not understanding, it's because of that, okay? It's more like a high intermediate. It's not like for level one students, okay, that, or beginners, okay? But uh, let me know if you have any questions, okay? Shoot me an example, okay? Um, or, yeah leave questions in the comments okay and uh, please don't forget to like the page and share it with your friends and family okay see you next time